Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday Microsoft announced that there will be no further B and C releases in 2021, but today Microsoft rolled out another build for the dev channel. Also this is the last release of the year 2021. Due to holidays, all the next updates will be released on January 20, 22. Microsoft is also providing ISO of this build. The new build which is 22523 will be available to all Windows insiders including ARM64 users. With this build, Microsoft has rolled out Snap Groups in All Plus tab, and Task View just like when you hover open apps on the taskbar, and you see them there, to all insiders in the dev channel. When File Explorer is open to this PC, the Add Media Server and Remove Media Server option is now available when you click the three dots in the command bar. Finally, Microsoft is slowly moving more and more features from the classic control panel to the new Settings app. Now, the installed apps list in the Settings app will now have a link to the Classic Programs and Features page in the control panel, so you can more easily access the Classic Program Management interface. Also, you'll be able to uninstall Windows updates directly in the Settings app, in case an update is causing issues for you. So, that was all about the changes and improvements made in this build. Moving to the fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue related to text input initialization that could lead to the shell, for example, the start menu and search, becoming non-responsive on ARM64 PCs. For laptop users, the battery icon tooltip should no longer unexpectedly show a percent above 100. Microsoft also fixed app icons which should no longer overlap the date and time on secondary monitors when there were a lot of open apps. For the File Explorer, Microsoft did some work to address an issue that was leading to losing keyboard focus sometimes after pressing Enter when using F2 to rename OneDrive files. For the new Spotlight Collection, after enabling Spotlight Collection, your first image, after Whitehaven Beach, should arrive a little faster now. Also, Microsoft added icons to the Spotlight Collection context menu entries. For the input, Microsoft improved the reliability of invoking voice typing. Also, fix an issue where the border of our text input experiences, voice typing, emoji panel, etc., wasn't drawn correctly when a contrast theme was enabled. And, mitigated an intermittent crash with the pen menu process, if it was launched, and then immediately closed before the launch happened. For the widgets, Microsoft fixed the issue causing links to not open properly, when opening the widgets board using Hover. Moving to the fixes for settings, settings content should no longer get truncated off the side of the window, when making the settings window small. Settings should no longer sporadically crash when opening combo boxes, which was impacting certain settings, such as the ability to set custom click actions for the pen. Address an issue where the added device option in Bluetooth and devices was silently crashing when trying to connect new Bluetooth devices. Added a number of keywords to make the voice access feature appear in settings search results. Microsoft also fixed some other issues, like fixing an issue that was causing ARM64 PCs to experience bug checks, citing a memory management error in the previous flight, Fix an issue that was causing DWM to crash, causing the screen to flash repeatedly when trying to use certain apps. Also, mitigated an issue leading to certain apps hanging when narrator was running. So that was all new in this build for the year 2021. Check out the official Microsoft blog for more information. Link will be in the description. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.